guys welcome back to the channel i'm super excited about today's video because it's a topic that i think a lot of you guys might find interesting and um, to keep this short it's about editing photos and i want to share a story with you about how my editing has changed over the time in 2015 when i started out photography i thought that if i mastered the game of editing i will become a great photographer at that point I was right, like I took a bunch of images like on weekend city trips with my friends um, and my pictures really became better over time just by the editing that I used and I want to show you some of the images that I took in 2015 when I was on a vacation trip to the Atlantic coast of France. I think they don't look that bad, I mean I've used my Canon 600D with the kit lens Obviously not the greatest equipment to shoot, but as you can see, you can still like get some pretty decent results from it. And I think the editing plays a really important part um, in these photos. So the story goes on. And in 2019, I remember when I was in Tokyo and in Hong Kong that my editing changed tremendously. And I deleted my whole Instagram feed, like just erasing all of my images and using a new look for editing my pictures. And I thought that this preset looks perfectly on those images. And this is the look that I will always go for. Um, like from now on, I will never change my editing again. And um, I used the look for like half a year or so. Um, and I still was very happy with the results. But in the very same year, in June, I flew to New York and I remember that the look that I used before in my Hong Kong and Tokyo photos, it just didn't look that good in New York. And, and I thought, okay, maybe there's a new look that I would go for. And I changed my editing um, and used some, some wedding preset, I think, um, that really like changed the whole look of my images. And I still use that look in 2019 November when I was in New York again and I still love the look and now it's 2021 and the look that I love today is so different from the look that I've loved back in the days. And one thing I've learned over editing my images for more than six years now is that editing is just way less important than I thought uh, back in the days. Yes, it can really improve your photography, but it will never ever make a shitty image look great. And um, what editing can do for you is really bringing your feelings and emotions and thoughts to the image, but it can never make a bad image look great. Um, and what I mean by that is that besides from all the editing process, it's much more important to pay attention to different things when taking pictures. And I will show you how I edit my images because I barely edit them nowadays um, because I pay attention to different things when I'm shooting. And this has changed how I take photos tremendously over time. And I will show you how this works for me um, by showing you some images that I took two weeks ago in Ibiza. And I will just walk you guys through how I edit them and I hope you enjoy the photos. So let's jump right into the editing. So what I've done already is pre-selected all of the images that I want to edit, um, which are like 55, so this is going to take some time. Um, but I will show you how I edit the pictures and what I pay attention to when editing an image. So um, as you can see, there are a bunch of presets. This would be the look that I edited my images with in 2019. Like this is what the picture would look like. And just to show you how the image would look with my late 2019 edit, this is actually this look. So a bit more contrasty, a bit more like this. Also doesn't look bad. And now I'm gonna show you the look that I would use in 2021, which is just the basic, I don't know, Portra 800, Visco preset, um, which is this look actually. And, and I really like this look because the colors are super natural. Um, 
but I would still change some things. Um, for example, bringing down the blacks and the shadows because I really like when Louis' face is not that bright. But I will brighten up the image all over and just make it a little warmer, maybe. Um, and since there's no grain, I would just put some grain on it. And I think this is pretty much how I like it best. Um, one thing that I found super helpful is looking at your image. And what I mean by that is looking at your image from a different angle, which just means zooming out, for example, or even further away. But I think 25 works pretty nice. So you can really get a different view of the entire image. And I love doing this by having the white background. You can just change it by right clicking. I think what most of you guys use is this or maybe the dark background, but I love white space. I also use my Instagram, um, not in dark mode, but still in the normal white mode because I just love white as a color. And what it does is it allows me to see the image differently, like how this image would look like um, if you hang it on a wall or so maybe. And um, I can see what I don't like. Um, and for example, one of the things is, is that I don't like this little, I don't know, like the ending of the house is right at the edge. Um, so I would cut this more like this, for example. Not a big change at all, um, but this looks better to me. And when I like chose a certain look, all I do is I just copy and paste it to all of the other images. So I would paste it here. And when I see, okay, that the look isn't working that much in color, it even wouldn't work with a different preset that good. Um, and since I'm going for the same look on every image to like give it a consistent look and feel, I would, uh, I would go for the black and white look, I think. And I really like this one. This just a slightly thing that I would change because there's a little sun beam on the beard of Louis, but I love how this looks. Great. No cropping at all, just like how it looks. And now again, so same lighting situation, just copy the look again, paste it over here. And then I would just crop it a bit. But basically there's not much editing needed, just playing a bit with the contrasts. And you can see the colors don't change that much, just in the greens um, from the preset. All of the things I'm doing is playing with the highlights, the shadows, the whites and the blacks and with the overall exposure. Um, you guys can see I barely touch the image. It's really just this Portra 800 preset and just playing a bit with with the contrasts, but this totally depends on the whole lighting situation. And since I want to play with the contrast in his face that is coming from his head, this is all I'm doing. Okay, so this is a new lighting situation and I would again just place the preset, but you see it's really not looking that nice now. So I would go with the original white balance and make the image look a little brighter. And just like bring down the highlights. I think the white balance works pretty nice. And now again, looking at it with more white space, I see that I don't like this that much and maybe I will cut out this whole thing so just have a really clean look. Yeah, like this way better. Copy and paste the same look on this one maybe. Okay, so the white balance is too warm. I would go with a little cleaner look. Okay, we just leave it as it is. We go, uh, 
we go. And I would just reframe it a bit. This is how you could do it. So you have only white space. And now what would work great is giving it a different ratio, like just doing this for example, like this one. Copy paste to the next one. Yeah, and I just don't like this black thing. You can again go for this and do it in four to three. Great, and that's pretty much all the magic. Okay, so we have a now, so now we have a different setting again. And yeah, I would just like change this a bit. But other than that, I like the image. And you can see like also this preset would work pretty nice or the old preset over here. But actually I like the clean look way better now. And in fact, the look doesn't make the image so much better at all. I mean, it's really important that you focus on uh, different things when you're out shooting and not rely on the whole editing process in the end. So um, big learning from me over time. And I will fast forward this process and I will show you the final images in the end. Um, so I like this one a lot. Okay, now different lighting situation again, right in the, at the coast. I, will, I would bring the highlights down, the shadows up a bit. Yeah, but this is all the magic. It's only like 10 seconds editing the preset, which is not like changing the look that much. Um, and this or this look would really also have a different one which would look like this. And yes, it would still look great, but just, this is the look that I would go with. Uh, okay, I think this is an image that I would go black and white with. Uh, also the color one looks nice, but I would go with black and white, I think. Yeah, I love, I just love black and white. There are a bunch of people that don't like black and white. I love black and white. Damn, looks so nice. Yeah, great again, just making them a little warmer maybe. But other than that, maybe just putting down, you can also, yeah, make it completely dark. Um, one quick tip again for editing. Um, I would rather play with the blacks and the shadows instead of playing with the contrast because the contrast really changes the colors in the whole image. So would, if I would increase the contrast, you would see that this whole part over here, like the color would really change and the skin tone also. So if I wanna play with the contrast, I would rather play with the shadows and the blacks. So the colors on the skin tone and in the rest of the image wouldn't change that much. These images over here, I would again just paste the preset and I would see, okay, it's way too bright. But that's it, basically. No different look, just like how it is. I would um, maybe erase all of these ones. Okay, yeah, I like this better. But other than that, I'm pretty fine with the result. I like the greens and the blues. I would maybe like focus on this part over here so it's lined up. But actually, it looks more natural to me. 
when it's not lined up correctly, looks more authentic. So here we go. Yeah, I, I definitely would not go for this look because it's too like pushing the shadows and like decreasing the highlights. This is more, this is way too, this is way too HDR. Um, but I would definitely play a bit with the shadows and maybe re-lining this up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Not too contrasty. And I remember I would love this look back in the days, but nowadays I just don't. Um, but yeah, um, one thought about uh, doing sunset images or like with the sun in the background. I barely do this. I remember I did it a bunch of times, um, but imagine the sun would just like, for example, if you would shoot like straight into the sun, like this way, um, the sun would, re would always have a flare in your lens um, and it would make all of the things in front of your lens look very dark and in the background very, uh, very bright. Um, and since I don't like this, this contrasty look anymore, I would always change from shooting this direction to this direction maybe and imagine the sun is coming from here. It would never have a big flare in the lens anymore, but it gives it, like you can see it in the image, the sun is right over here and it brightens up the image from the side, but never from the back. Um, and so Louis gets enough of sun um, all over his face. This is what I found works best for me. Um, so, yeah, here you go. Uh, this is the image. There is still no sun, but Louis is also not so bright. And just by increasing the shadows over here, you see, he, he, just by, I think people think that light is just important for the contrast, but it's also important for the colors. So if I would brighten this up, Yes, I would get some colors back, but it just doesn't look as good as over here when he gets sunlight from the side. So what I would do, if this was the only image, I would go with black and white maybe and give it this silhouette look, which looks very on purpose. Just paste it and line it with the horizon in the back bit more contrast and now you can really see like when I look at this image I would really do one thing which is crop this one right out it looks way cleaner so like this is one of the things that also for me makes the image look much better if you pay attention to those little details that can distract the viewer maybe um, and nowadays I pay way more attention to all of those little things, like the light, um, like things that could distract the viewer in the image, um, composition, um, and all of those things, um, they are more important to me than the look itself. Um, because, yes, this would also look not that bad. Like this is late 2019 New York and Paris preset. This would be the old um, Hong Kong Tokyo preset. Also nice, but like to be honest, the image doesn't need this much editing. It just looks great um, because it's shot pretty great. Like it's easy to understand the image. It's like the colors look nice already. I don't need that much editing at all. Um, yeah, so. Here we go, that's it. This is the last image, okay. Just pasting preset. You can like enhance the background a bit more, but again, it just wouldn't look natural. Um, if this is something you would go for, you can also like darken this a bit and giving it more color back. This would also work but I think it doesn't, like the image doesn't need it. Um, and one thing I would do is crop this 
little rock out or just reframe the picture. And since he's not straight in the middle, I would do this maybe. And when you have such a big like uh, horizon and clean background, I would reframe this one to different ratio so it's not that big and you can focus more on Lewis but you can also do the opposite thing and just frame it like this um, I love this I love it like nice job Toby <laughs> um, yeah but this is all the magic basically and um, I really barely edit my images um, and I pay attention to different things now um, like way different from uh, like two or three or maybe even six years ago um, and if you have any questions I think I will definitely do a video about um, editing tips in the future um, or also about um, shooting tips in the future um, because like like the final image is really a mixture of shooting and editing um, but as I said before like back in the days when I thought maybe 10 or 20 percent is shooting and the rest is all editing um, it's way different from that and um, this is all I can tell you just like shoot what you like um, and just don't rush this whole game just take your time there will be times when you like this look better there will also be times when you like another look better um, just do what you think is right just Edit what looks good to you and um, don't be so mad at yourself when you're editing a picture and you don't like it at all. This is something that I've learned also. Um, it's just normal that there will be times when you don't like your images and you don't like the editing. Um, I have a lot of discussions with photography fans because everyone, despite of how, how successful or how small and despite from how long someone is into photography, everyone has these struggles. And uh, this is something that I actually like because this is just part of the process. So uh, just enjoy it. And um, yeah, I think this video is now coming to an end. Uh, thank you guys for being here with me today. I'm really looking forward to the next videos. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, it would really support me in creating all of these videos. And please let me know what you're interested in. Like, uh, if you like this kind of videos where I'm just like going through my images and sharing my thoughts on them. Um, or if you're more into like POV, GoPro um, stuff, or if you're more into like film photography, just leave your thoughts uh, down in the comments. I would really appreciate your support. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the whole video. Um, have a great weekend. And if you haven't done already so, please follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to make this channel more alive, sharing more BTS stuff in my stories, and um, which is not that easy, but I'm working on it. So um, yeah, head over to Instagram, give me a follow, and uh, of course, follow this channel as well. And Thank you for being here, um, have a great weekend, see you in the next one.